your local Storm Tracker 2 forecast. Thanks for staying with us everyone. 1210 right now and this is what we've got out toward Lake Coeur d'Alene on our Monday. It's a beautiful start to the week. All morning long really we were seeing a ton of boats out there enjoying the lake to start off the morning. Now between now and about 5 p.m. probably going to be the best time to enjoy it as those temperatures keep warming up. Uh, a lot of people finally getting into the water as it's finally starting to heat up a bit and all those local pools and aquatic centers open for business. A great day to be outside. Take a look at where those temperatures go over the next 12 hours. We're going to make our way to about 85 degrees for an afternoon high in Spokane. Going to rest in the 80s all the way through about 7, maybe even 8 p.m. So it'll be a while that we're in that warm range and it's not until 9 that we start getting back down to the 70s once again. A couple of the big ideas today. We've got warm and dry conditions continuing today, but a change comes quickly. Cooler temperatures and some wet weather comes in by the time we get to your Tuesday. That's tomorrow. We'll see some scattered thunderstorms in the afternoon that I'll walk you through in just a moment. But aside from that, really, by the time we get to your Wednesday and beyond for your Thursday, your 4th of July, Thursday, things are looking really nice outside. So if you do have 4th of July plans, you should be good to go. Now we are done with the month of June. We've officially hit the first day of July and with it, we finished June with well below average precipitation and above average afternoon temperatures. So just something to keep in mind that this could add to fire danger around us as we could use more rain in our forecast, but unfortunately only got less than half an inch for the month of June, whereas normal would be just over an inch and a quarter. So we rang in uh, now the start of July with below average rainfall for the month of June. Just something to keep in mind going forward, but we could pick up on a little bit more rain headed toward your Tuesday. So here's the rest of the day today. Down south, some of those uh, southern counties may pick up on a few showers, but otherwise it looks like most of that is going to make its way through about the northern Oregon area before Tuesday when things make their way up towards us and around the northern parts of Washington. So here's 1230 tomorrow, just past the noon hour. We see showers, especially up toward Okanagan County through Spokane and Kootenai County. Possibility of a few showers along the way. We also see by the afternoon a clearing of those skies where those showers mainly kind of hold off to western Montana and linger over the northern third of Washington. Now, a little bit of wet weather lingers into early Wednesday. You can see even by 12 noon, still the possibility of some panhandle showers, western Montana showers before things clear out. The good news is, as I said, by the time we get to your fourth, things are looking really nice outside. The temperatures will probably look a lot like they do right now for this afternoon. 85 this afternoon in Spokane, 84 in Coeur d'Alene, 91 today in Moses Lake is that forecast high. Forecast eye down for Tri-Cities, 92 degrees. Now here's that seven day. As I mentioned, things are shaping up really nicely. A gradual warm up from Wednesday onward, where by the time if you got a long 4th of July weekend, we're facing upper 80 degree temperatures by that weekend. So uh, if you've got one, I'd say take it. It's going to be a great weekend and uh, finally more summer-like conditions out there, Laura.